Hey, good evening, guys. This is Hank. It is um, October the 4th, 0004, and I decided to do another um, heart to heart. I don't know, you know, I like to do one every blue moon. And today I have good news. Uh, well, you know, I'm not going to rant or anything. <laughs> but uh, first, what I'd like to say is I have uh, 945 subscribers, which is really awesome. Um, I had 948, but I'm sure that poem I wrote the other day probably uh, made a few people angry, but we'll talk about that later. At first, I'd just like to thank any, everyone who has subscribed. Um, you know, when I first started this channel, the reason why I started it was because of my music. And uh, I know I probably say the same thing almost every time in these heart to hearts. But I started it for the music. And then it, you remember it and develop into the poems because I wasn't hearing the melody and I, the, you know, I kept being inspired to write things. And so, and then, uh, the poems and the music all had to do with uh, consciousness expansion and then eventually the ascension and and that is pretty much a driving theme throughout this channel but at the same time I also find that with the channel it gives me an opportunity to for my personality to come through and whatever attitude I'm in, I'm having at that particular time, whatever mood that I'm in, with any of my frustrations, you know, when I'm feeling extremely creative, uh, my sense of humor, you know, all of those things come through. And it's, it's a real stress relief sometimes when I write about any of those particular things, if I'm, however I'm feeling in the moment, if I just write it and, um, you know, of course, it's my channel, so then I can post it. And then, you know, uh, those who I like to share and those who, you know, you listen, you may like it or you may not like it. You may be like, you know, I don't like that. I don't like the mood you're in or whatever. You know, one thing for sure is I never want anyone to hold me, put me on a pedestal or, or try and act like or make me out to be somebody special or something, someone better than anyone else. I am just exactly like everyone else on this planet. I'm energy condensed in the mass and I have gone through the veil of amnesia. There's a lot of things that I believe personally that are that I remember and that I can tap into and I like to share that with people or whatever, but beyond that, that's it. You know, I have all the bills that everyone else pays. I have all of the stresses that most people have. Well, some people have a lot more stress than me because I don't let myself get too stressed out. Uh, you know, not too much. Uh, I'm really a chill type of person, you know. Um, but with that said, um, I really like the channel. I like what it's developed to or whatever. But I really want to make it clear, please do not hold me. I mean, people, like, sometimes when I do post something, see, I never forget that it's my channel. I never forget the reason why I have it and the reason why I continue doing what I do. I never forget it ever. And I know some people, I guess new people who happen upon it or whatever, and they subscribe because they heard a, a guided visualization session or a QHHT session or whatever that really you know, either inspired or motivated them to say, hey, this is what I want to listen to. But then they believe and think that that's exactly all that they're ever going to get, you know. And then I put personal stuff on and they're like, hey, what are you saying that for? Isn't this supposed to be? But no, it's not supposed to be anything. It's only going to be whatever, whatever mode I'm in, whatever attitude I have, whatever, however creative I happen to be at any particular time. It's only going to be whatever is coming out of me because I'm the only one who will has access to be able to go, come on here and put whatever material that arrives or shows up on this. You know, there's no one else. And if you could look and pay attention, man, I actually spend a lot of time putting content up here on this Um it is. I like to share. I really do have a desire for everyone to listen in, to see 
what I'm sharing or whatever. I know a lot, some of it may not resonate with you, but um, that's the part that you're just going to have to skip by or what have you. Do you know? Uh, okay. Oh, I don't like what he's saying or whatever. I'll just wait until what I really like to come. And I always try and be really clear and separate things. One thing I wanted to say about my channel, I think that a lot of people, when you come, you find the channel or whatever, you may not actually come to the channel itself, but you see the thing on the side and you see something that interests you and you hit it and then it plays and you're like, oh, I like that. And then you subscribe. I could tell by analytics that you a lot of people are literally going to the watch page or whatever because it's a, you know all these things that are recommended or particular things that you're interested in. But I think if you actually come to the channel itself, and I mean not just mine, but to everyone's channel and really look at the content because you'd be so surprised because a lot of times I start people start asking me questions and I'm like, well. You know, I don't mind talking or communicating with you or whatever, but when you go to someone's channel and you really look at it, you'll say, wow, he actually has 66 playlists and it's very organized. It's one through 50, one through 50, the first 50, second 50, third 50, fourth 50. That's how I pretty much line things up. And then I have, uh, I have one particular channel or playlist. Uh, that's a step-by-step -step method of instruction so you can go there and you can learn how to meditate or how to do guided visualization sessions yourself where I have examples or whatever I have Sancho Sanchi Banaki San, Santos Banaki awesome brilliant man you should listen to his material I have a whole playlist dedicated to him I have um, playlist of a playlist of like for beginners and it has like spirit science and some really good stuff but they are all there you know and even with the quantum healing hypnosis therapy sessions i have like the first four like first 50 second 50 third 50 fourth 50 and then it goes into the fifth 50 but the fifth 50 are guided visualization because i decided not to use the word quantum healing hypnosis therapy anymore and uh and then I mean, it's all divided up, but there's a lot of material there. I have one called, uh, a playlist called Light Entities and Orbs, because people, it's so funny, people that I communicate with all the time, and, uh, oh, I've never seen that on your channel. I said, have you ever been through the channel? That's my question. Have you ever really been through the channel? Go through people's playlist and look. Some people put a lot of content. I know I have a lot of content on mine, but like that particular um to me that particular playlist with the orbs and the energy entities is so uh profound and how would you say um it's very interesting it's unique you know it's one thing to hear people talk about them but when you go and you actually see them scurrying and racing around or what have you that's pretty amazing like right now there's something on my forehead right here Maybe there's something it's reflecting. See, it just went up. I must be blocking it, huh? Right? Because when my hand crosses it, you see that thing right there? I can see it. So it must not, I don't think it is something. It must be a reflection or whatever. Yeah, because it stays in one place. Uh, see, now, see so if I tilt it, it goes down. So it must be a reflection. That's one, not one of them. <laughs> but I see that. I was like, hey, what is that? But um, now the playlist that I have is very different than that type of thing. But that's a really interesting playlist. So I would, I'd say, you know, go to people's playlists or even when you come to the channel, check out some of the things that are in the channel. Some of the, I have a playlist that has QHHT sessions and it's divided up by the people who sang that they were extraterrestrials. I could still go into that even more. It's very time consuming to do those things. And that's why, you know, um, sometimes if I'm in, you catch me in the wrong mood and you, you know, like you already know when you start talking shit to me, I'll be like, you know, I don't crush anyone else or out or whatever, but it's like, man, I spend a lot of time putting my channel together and putting the content divided up, you know, to where you can have access to check out the things because I like to share or what have you. And so, you know, I don't take too kindly when people start, you know, but 
I'm a normal person, you guys, and so what? That I, you know, when I go into the sessions, if I'm doing a session, like a paid session or whatever, I'm extremely professional and I go by the book. But whenever I'm going in with Lars or with other people or whatever, you know, we I do all types of things or whatever. When I'm exploring and things that pop in my mind, I just go for it or what have you. And, uh, you know, those are very different. So with that said, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. And I hope you understand what I mean by the type of material that you're going to come to, especially if you're new to this channel or whatever, and you think that that's all I'm going to talk about is ascension and ascension symptoms and all of those type of things. You are always going to get that material on from me if you and you're going to get it in the poems and you're going to get it in the sessions that I post. But not every poem that I post will have anything to do with any of that stuff. A lot of it might have have to do with the mood that I'm in or the things that I'm going through in my life expressing myself and I will always express myself however I desire to express myself on my channel so with that with so but with that said I this was really important I was going to say it a long time ago see now I'm 11 minutes and 11 seconds into it the guided visualization sessions I do those via Skype so if you don't live in Houston, Texas, and you have a desire to do a session with me, I am asking you to most definitely book a session with me. My sessions are only $250. And if you say that you saw this particular post, I will only charge you $200 until the end of this year. So if you say, hey, I saw your post and it's only $200, I'll say, okay, I honor that. But you have to say it. If not, I'll tell you to go to my website and pay for it on there. And uh, in that section, it says $250. And then there's also a donation uh, space as well. Oh, and since I'm talking about that, if you have a desire to do a session with me, so I can just say it in advance, but I'm placing it in all of my on my website or whatever. Get a recording device. Get a recording device. I record it on my end, but and I either send it to you or I Dropbox it. But Dropbox it has gone ridiculous. Uh, they want you to have five different accounts for one, so that's twelve times five monthly. That's ridiculous. I'm not paying that. So basically, what I've been doing of late is recording it, putting on a flash drive and sending it to the person or and then asking them on their end to record it just in case. I may not have to send them the flash drive or what have you. So, you know, just so you have that. And uh, obviously you can tell as many sessions that I've done via Skype, which are remote sessions, they work with no problem whatsoever, you know, and um, I haven't had any problem yet. And so and I've been doing it that way for a really long time. So, and as you can tell, I have a lot of people who tell me they can't be induced. And um, the things that I do and the way that I do it, it really allows them to relax. And then they sort of feel my energy and they let go. And uh, sometimes it takes a little while to get them there, but I've been able to do it and quite successfully. And so, you know, I have a lot of people who call me and connect with me and say, oh, I paid $500 and I couldn't, it was, you know, I couldn't do nothing or whatever. Or I have actually lots of other uh, practitioners who call and ask me, what am I doing and what could I do to improve what I'm doing or whatever. And, you know, and I say, go to my step by step or I talk to them for two hours for free or three hours on the phone or what have you. Uh, I'm not a greedy person and I'm not trying, I'm not chasing money. My intent truly is to let people know that they are much more than what they think they are and that if they go within, you know, they could rise above so many of their challenges here in the third dimension. And so I wanted to put that ad out there for QHHT or guided visualization. The guided visual, the QHHTs I do here in my home, the guided visualizations I do via Skype. Um, my name on Skype is hank.jones.ii on Skype. And if you decide to connect with me on Skype, I'd much rather talk to you on Skype so I can see you. Um, identify yourself. Okay. So I did the ad. Uh, I'm very thankful. I, I'll make letting everyone know I'm very thankful. 
that um, you've subscribed to the channel and please don't have any expectations of what I'm going to post and uh, it's so easy to you know even if you see if I'm in the mood and I'm like pieces are inspired for me to write and I'm just writing them and posting them, writing them and posting them and then all of a sudden you go to your subscriber page and you're like, oh my God, he put seven in one day and you unsubscribe or whatever. That's fine with me. You know what I'm saying? It really is. I never do ask anyone to like, comment or subscribe, but, um, you know, but you can easily erase them. I don't know if you know that you can right click them and erase them so they don't take up the whole page and you can see all the other people that you're subscribed to. That's one way of handling it or what have you. And and I think I did say the reason why I started the channel first was just the music and then it developed because the pieces kept coming through and I started writing them out as poems. And then as it went on, of course, the poems and the music were about the ascension process, but they're also about my personal issues and stuff like that. I always already said, don't put me on a pedestal. I'm just trying to do my thing here and share. I love to share. And what else did I have to talk about? Um, what else did I have? Oh, um, I think I already covered it when I'm talking about... Uh, you guys being human and uh, I, anything that's on my mind, once I write it down, you know, it's sort of strange whenever I write something down. I'm like, oh, my God, should I post it? What are they going to think? I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and then, then I will. I'm sorry, you guys, if you don't reckon, uh, resonate with some of the things that I post or some of the moods that I'm in. But uh, I find that the stuff that I say that I don't want to post and I post them anyway because something just says just do it because it's yours and you can. Those are normally the ones that a lot of people go, man, I'm in the same situation that you are in or I'm feeling that very thing. And, you know, sometimes it's not even what I'm feeling. It's just what happens to be in my mind or what's coming through and so I just write it down and then I find later that it was someone else who actually needed to hear those words and I sort of like that so I, that's one of my huge motivations for not hope for for not stopping and posting it anyway because it uh I might go oh, oh my god where was that where did that come from you know and someone else might come comes along and goes wow I really needed that and so I, I really would like for people to be more discerning and think with their their heart sometimes and not just with their head about not liking something or judging something so fast because you know you guys if you really think about it you're it's a very um egotistical selfish thing it's all about you and you know not, not thinking about anyone else who may be going through a particular something that may be helped by anything that i might happen to post or share you know so what else did I like to say? I think, I guess that's it. I have so much love for you because I love myself and I know you and I are one and the same. And uh, you guys keep your head up, keep meditating, keep seeking within, within, within. I can't say that enough. And of course, even well right now they're saying, and get out into nature, go sit in the grass. Cross your legs, sit on the ground, put your hands on the ground. Make sure, like if you're in Texas, you have fire ants. So make sure there's no fire ants because they'll tear you up. And, uh, you know, connect with nature. Lean on a tree. Talk to a tree. Um, send unconditional love through the planet, throughout the planet, into the news. Into Anytime you hear these horrible stories coming up all the time, and they are going to keep coming up because all of these things are coming up to be released. And... Um, also remember you chose to be here you chose to be here you know what was coming and those of you who didn't know what it was all about before you manifested here and thought you could handle it you absolutely can handle it that's why you're still alive today so try and remember that at all times always try and remember premise who you are and where you come from you are a divine spark of the one creator and it is experiencing itself through each and every one of you and all of creation. We are its avatars and we're powerful. And don't worry about chemtrails and don't worry about the stuff in the food and don't worry. You are a powerful, powerful entity and your thoughts, your thoughts can change any dis-ease, 
any poison it really really can now you say well I've been trying and I've been trying or what have you and it's not working uh, it is you're in the you're in a process of growth and we're going through a huge transition right now you know um, know it you know it in your heart you feel it in your heart and uh, just keep with it and don't give up because before too long you're gonna be looking back and going I remember when and then you're gonna be like I don't remember how it used to be when it was so horrible I've let that stuff escape me it's now behind you remember your power of volition is in a forever moment of right now you know learn how to use it and use it and that's in in a way that it's in your best interest and everyone else around you and it will be more powerful than you know and uh, you'll be in a good place okay all right guys I love you thank you very much for listening I do appreciate it love and light I must stay